Hi, in this video, we will see how to use Git, GitHub and Visual Studio Code all together. Before starting this tutorial, we have to do three things. One is we need to install Visual Studio Code and second is we need to create an account in GitHub and finally, we also need to install this Git, Git on your local computer. So these three things are required. Must, must thing. That means we need to install two things. Basically, Git and Visual Studio Code and then we also need a working GitHub account. I already have some tutorial how to install Visual Studio Code and how to create a GitHub account and also I have also a tutorial how to install Git on my channel. You can check those things in the description box below. Let's get started. And uh, one more thing before going to the tutorial, uh, if you are a new visitor of my channel, please subscribe to our channel. To work with Git, GitHub and Visual Studio Code all together, two things is very important. One is local repository and another is remote repository. So basically we can say there are two types of repository. Okay, sometimes it's called also repo in short. Okay, and these are the two repositories, local and remote. Local means on your local, on your computer. Okay, so the computer which you are working or the device which you are working, this is called local repository. Okay, and that means I also type on shortcut. I'm also typing some note like uh, on your computer. And remote means it is online. Okay other than your computer okay so these two things very important uh, these two term on is local and remote there are two types of repository on is local repository and this remote local means on your computer and remote means where you will save your code so if I create a folder here in my computer right click new folder suppose my folder name is like my first bullet first bullet bullet demo for example first bullet demo so this is my folder and here inside it we can create on notepad file right click new and then like uh, file on file on dot txt this is a text file okay so what we did till now we created a folder and inside it we create a file okay so this is actually local so we'll call it local repo okay and remote repository is somewhere in the online or other computer or other hosting or a computer will be saved so let me create on github uh, project so to create a github project actually uh, this will be actually our this thing we are trying to create on remote repository okay so i'm going to my github account and from there uh, i have to click uh, this link after logging we'll see this type of page and from and the top right corner uh, if we click this thing my profile icon then we'll find this thing uh, then we have to go your repository and if you go there then you'll find this type of page and from here you'll find a new tab or new button okay just click new and it will open this thing so here we need to create a repository see here it is showing create a repository but this will be the remote repository okay this is local because this is in the computer and this is under github that's why it is called remote repository suppose then put a name of this repository um, as we will actually work with this code and also this code will be saved here so I will prefer to put both the name like similar or same I will always prefer to put the name same so here we put first posit demo so what we can do we can type this thing so uh, our project name should be fast project demo okay and if the name is available then you'll find a tick mark over there okay and this is a folder this is local and now we are creating a remote so i put the name this name and this name is same that means this local name and this remote name are the same and then description this is optional so i am skipping but if you wish you can also put there and then uh, there are two modes public and private uh, for now i am putting it public but if you wish you can also uh, put it private okay and then uh, there is a check mark uh, box uh, like initial this repository if you wish you can do or otherwise you can ignore and then finally uh, you can 
we have to create one repository by clicking this button so i'm going to click uh, this button create repository once you click there then it will take few seconds and it will give you this type of page and over there you will see that uh, it is giving you one url okay and some of the commas are there okay so i'm not going to this thing this command because these are actual github git related command uh, but we will not write any command for our code uh, we'll use visual studio to do everything it's very simple way okay and this is the remote location so now clear so this is our local repository and this is our remote repository and the remote repository tourists access url is this one okay so this thing is clear i think so right two things local remote uh, local means in our computer and remote means which is stored in github okay so now uh, we need to before uh, uploading this code i mean put this code in remote we need to do something we'll use visual studio code generally when we develop our code we open uh, our code some editor or something and then from there we have to uh, push or pull uh, this code to there so i'm going to minimize this thing and i'm going to open visual studio code so here is the visual studio code and once you open visual studio code we will find this type of window uh, at first we need to link this folder so how can we link we can click file and then folder open folder and this folder is on desktop so i have to go desktop and here i will see my first project demo is there okay and then click on select folder and it will uh, link that folder to here and you will see um, that there is two file but there is nothing okay uh, and something is there like uh, if you wish you can write something like I can put something first first line of the file suppose I add this thing and this is under this thing okay so now this is a visual studio code okay now what we have to do we have to configure uh, this posit uh, I mean with git I mean we have to configure this posit with git so to configure this posit with git there is a couple of icons here so the one icon is this one source control if you click there you will find something is there uh, which is actually uh, empty right now because there is nothing we didn't do anything this is a brand new project and we are going to uh, keep we are going to uh, convert this in a git project and find after that we will host this project to github okay and there is a settings icon here so it doesn't matter whether you are using microsoft or mac uh, everywhere there is settings and if you don't have settings you can access the settings by clicking file and then preferences and then settings these settings or in visual studio you have to go a preference then uh, you have to go these settings okay so the shortcut is this thing so i'm going to click here and then the settings window will be appeared okay from there this is a shortcut settings so this is the settings so if once you open uh, the settings page setting space of visual studio just type git enabled and you'll see this type of thing and you must have to make sure that this checkbox is there if it is like unchecked it will not work so we have to click this checkbox first okay and once you are there then you can close the settings so this thing you must need to do okay now uh, this, is our, this is our uh, open folder okay i mean uh, this is my actual folder first project demo this is the folder and there is on file now what we need to do we need to uh, create a git on my local first so to do this uh, what we have to do we need to initialize the git so we can do different ways we can go there and we can click initialize repository or we can also uh, hold command shift p it will open this type of thing and over there we can type git initialize repository we can also do this way so both of them are will work the same so before working anything at first we need to initialize the git okay anything any type of work generally what we do we initialize something so here we need to initialize by choosing this option git uh, initialize repository once you click there then it will ask you which file or folder do you want to initialize so our file is this one right it is also showing this if it is not showing here then what we have to do we have to choose folder we have to put the folder name or we have to go that particular location for that folder so mine is is showing so i'm just clicking there and it is trying to uh, initialize so and you will see once it is initialized that then uh, this source control there is on blue one okay that means there is some changes and if you click here 
then this type of menu will appear and here you will see a uh, couple of things there is one thing which is called changes number one this is one changes number two there is one blue icon and number three there is you that means this is unstaged untracked okay so uh, right now we just initialize git but still we didn't commit so what we have to do we have to uh, add this thing to staging staging stage so i'm going to click plus so what it will do it is going to stage changes so that means the changes which i had it added to stage changes here now and it is popping uh, the uh, cursor is blinking here that means we need to put some command or serve comment okay and it's showing message control enter to commit okay after you typing the uh, actual message then you can we have to put uh, press control enter or we can also press this uh, tick mark to commit okay so i'm uh, for the first thing i just need to um, put some comment the comment should be uh, very small but meaningful okay remember it because if you type a long comment it will not hold like uh, for this case uh, we can type a comment like first project initialization once you put your comment comment uh, on the comment box then you can press ctrl enter or you can put this uh, check mark to commit so i'm going to click here to commit the code and it will showing you uh, this thing that the following file has unsaved changes which won't be included in your commit if you proceed file this would you like to save it before committing yes we want to right so what i am doing uh, save all commit okay and that is showing make sure you configure your username and user email in git we are getting this error because we still didn't configure this git on our local machine so what we need to do we need to configure our git on our local machine uh, by putting some command in the command prompt so if we open the log we'll see the, there are a couple of things and these two commands are the main important thing which we have to do let me minimize this thing and let's open or fix this thing again i'm showing you when you check mark this thing then you will get this uh, error basically uh, what it is uh, telling us to configure by putting the username and email address when you want to commit your code on git you might get this type of error like make sure you configure your username and user email in git this is a common error uh, after installing git on your local computer whenever you are trying to commit your code or file you will get this type of message i will show you today how to remove this error or how to resolve this thing to solve this problem at first we need to go to the git folder location so on my computer the install location of git is under c uh, c drive then there is program files and under program files you will see git and there is a bin so we have to go on this location so uh, in this location once we are there then we have, what we have to do we have to type cmd so the command prompt will be opened directly from that window now uh, to solve this thing uh, we need to write some command so if we click open git log then it will give you this type of log and what we have to do uh, we need to write uh, these two lines i'm just copying these two lines and i'm opening on notepad file and i'm putting that two line suppose uh, my username is like this thing fiesteps.email at gmail.com and my username is my first name and last name like few steps so we need to run these two lines of command okay so i'm copying this line control c copy and then i'm going to the command prompt and then i'm typing here and then i have to hit enter key okay then after that we have to copy this line again copy and then we are going to this command prompt and i'm i'm typing that thing and then i'm pushing the enter key again okay now we are done now let's go to the visual studio code and now let's try again to commit these changes so let me commit now you will see it is committing okay so here it is showing that it is committing and if you go to the version control you will see there is no changes nothing everything is saved okay so in this way you can fix those things and also you can continue the tutorial let's modify this file suppose i want to add another online 
okay like uh, second line and we also need to commit this thing okay so let me save thing first let's save this thing first file that is save okay so once you save this thing then you will come to this location and you will see uh, this source control there is on changes what is the change and it is also showing m that means modified okay and if you click here it will show you the original file and your last modified file all together uh, right side you will see the updated file and left side is before modification so it is actually comparing both of the files um, like both of the situation together like previous and now present scenario so in this way we can easily uh, check what are the changes we did from the last version or from this window in that now if we want to commit the same way we can do we have to click plus button this thing so it will go from changes to this so once we click plus that is modify goes to here and from here we need to comment like uh, modified first file so i just put the comment and then after that i'm hitting comment button so it will commit okay so now uh, the code it changed basically this is the most updated version and we can close this thing because we don't need and you can also close this thing and if we go to our file and then if we click there we'll see that two lines are there okay so that means uh, these two files the two lines we committed successfully now in our local repository uh, if you open then we will find on file and the file is updated okay these two things and this is also uh, saved uh, this means committed the version control and uh, if you uh, go to the view and after that there is on uh, checkbox like hidden items if we click there and we'll see on hidden folder is there like dot git okay and inside it this is the git configuration that means our post successfully configured the local git repository now what we need to do uh, we will actually transfer this code to our remote repository so i showed you at the beginning uh, that we created on remote repository with the same name so what we want to do we need to push this code to there so if we open the browser i'm minimizing this thing because we don't need this is also we don't need i'm minimizing uh, then I'm opening the browser and here is the github page right so in this github page we have uh, this thing okay so now if we want to uh, update this code uh, we need some procedures but before going there uh, let me refresh um, and here we are not seeing any changes okay and this is the URL okay so what we have to do we need to push this thing to here so if you want to uh, push this thing what we can do we can go to the source control and from there we can click this three dot and from there there are lots of command on there so if we push that means it will push something like that okay but i'm not going to do that first first at first we need to configure our thing okay so to configure this thing i mean uh, to configure this remote host we have to open the command plate so you can press the control uh, shift all together and the command print, uh, plate will be appeared there so here you have to type remote git add remote because we want to push this thing the remote uh, location so we have to uh, add remote previously when we started our uh, coding we added in good initialize initialize first now we have to initialize the remote same way okay so i'm going to click remote and it is asking a remote name so the remote name is the same i know so first project demo probably okay let me double check what is the name first project demo we can also copy the whole thing Control c and then we can come this is a studio code and we can also uh, paste it so it will be unique okay so once you uh, type the name then click enter and then it is asking the remote url so we have to go the browser and then we have to copy this thing right click copy or you can press here to copy the url and then come to visual studio code and then paste it okay then once you put the uh, remote url link then hit enter key what will happen it will link that thing okay uh, with the remote now we need to transfer this code to this github page okay so there are many ways you can push pull there are lots of fun but for me uh, the first thing which i found 
most of the easiest way is at the beginning just do a fetch command so you can press ctrl shift p again and then type fetch and you will find one thing fetch so just click uh, git fetch uh, it will fetch something and it will give a pop up uh, this type of thing would you like to code periodically and so i i'm not interested just uh, ignore it but it faced everything i don't know uh, why i need to use others i feel i face lot of difficulty whenever for the first time i try to push my code to uh, remote okay so here uh, we just need that command fetch and after that uh, if we refresh this uh, page still you will not see anything because nothing is there okay now what we have to do we have to push this code so from the source control if you click there and from there you can push okay uh, to save the code uh, to push the remote but uh, i don't uh, i'm not going to tell you push or pull uh, these two things you can use but uh, you can use later but for uh, the best thing so far i face uh, if i use sync then it is more easier but basically sync it does everything okay so what we will do so we want to synchronize this code with this remote so what we can do we can open the complex again by shift control and p and then type uh, that sync and you will find that git sync so just click there and it will start that the branch master has no upstream branch would you like to publish the branch so it is giving you an warning basically if you uh, notice here there is a branch master okay uh, this branch i will come later but not now uh, just uh, be patient uh, let me show you how to synchronize this thing first i mean how to push this local repo code to the remote host uh, then after that i will come okay so it is asking the branch master has no upstream branch would you like to publish this branch yes we want to publish this thing uh, just think about this we want to publish this branch and click ok button and once you click ok button you will see here on clock like thing okay and if you go there and after very few seconds later it will pop up this type of thing because this is for the first time we are trying to push our code and here it is showing that github login you need to put your username and password for the github so uh, my git username is few steps dot email at gmail.com and then i have to put the password my uh, so i'm now i will put my password Okay, on site type my username and password then what I have to do I have to click login and if the username password is correct then it will able to login and then here you will see a blue dot is going in there here and there okay and uh, once you will uh, it is coming uh, it is trying to push your code to remote now let's go to the github I think uh, it's successfully because uh, there is no message here before it was uh, like blue one or two something like that but right now there is no message that means it's saved probably on the remote so let me come here so this is our github base and this is our project uh, first project demo and we pushed from here to here but we are not seeing because we didn't refresh just refresh this thing first and you will see the magic okay now i refreshed and it is asking me it is giving me on some option uh, like github actions just dismiss it okay so this is the first project demo and here we are seeing the changes here right so we created on file file on text on and if we click there we are able to see the code see the text right which is which we have in the file right so that means it's able to push uh visual studio code to here so that means this is the local repo right and this github is the remote so from our local uh, repo we push this code to remote right so in this way we can push our code from here to there okay now let's do one thing one more time so suppose i change this thing third line to test from vs code to github okay so i i add this thing and after that after i click adding this thing if i click file save okay so once we click save then here in the version control we will see this type of thing okay and if you go there and then we'll see there is changes and this is the file name which is changed and here is modified right so it is showing that it's changed and 
uh, now we can also add and commit in this way okay so there is also another shortcut if you don't want to do this so shift by press ctrl shift p and then here just type commit okay commit and if you click commit it will ask you there is no status changes this thing so would you like to automatically access all your changes and commit we change this file right so if there might be like 10 different files if you have 10 different files so if you click yes then it will go to the commit and it will ask you the message like third change so i'm just typing this one third changes and then i'm hitting enter key to commit now it is committing now here what we did we committed here locally this uh remote uh, this local but if we come here if we refresh this thing see it will not come here right it is not there we can go to the main file and then again refresh here but it will not come because we didn't push this code from here so for this case what we have to do we have to do sync you can push but my preference is sync so that it can synchronize from there to there so i'm going to hit command shift p to open the palette command palette and then i have to type sync and this is a sync once you click there it will start uh, pushing this thing this action will push and pull commit is showing the details basically what sync is doing it is showing this action will push and pull commits to and from this fast uh, master okay just click okay and so once you click there it will start uh, pushing and there is a clock on the clock is invisible that means it successfully sync with our code to the remote now come to uh, your github and then just refresh and you will see the changes here see here it is added okay so in this way uh, we can actually modify some code we can add our necessary things and then finally we can push to uh, our github thing now uh, let me do one thing let me go to here let me check something whether if i modify here how can i actually bring it to there okay so in this github page github project so I see there is no uh, not uh, readme file and if you open uh, your project you will find one thing like this help people interested in this repository understand to your project by adding readme so it is suggesting that for any github project just put a uh, readme file so that users can be easily understand by the people it will be easier to understand to understand all the people that your project is doing something like that okay so here just click a readme file we want to create a new, a new file that is a readme file so we can click here add a readme and here we can type something like that uh, fast demo project about how to use git github and vs code all together okay so we can type something git github and together and suppose we can put our details uh, youtube channel github not github my channel name is uh, fiesta sorry <laughs> okay youtube channel so this is the thing and once you do that uh, we need to save so just go down a little bit and here you also see same way commit comment uh, commit new file and this is a comment line something like that uh, but i don't want to comment so what i will do i will create a commit commit new file okay i'm clicking there and it is saved there okay so now actually if you refresh uh, this page you will see there are two files one is readme file which you just created this is the md extension and then there is a pylon text file which we created for visual studio code so there are two files but here in visual studio code if we open our files here we will see only one file the other file is missing okay so that means uh, it's not synchronized so we need to download this code to our local so for doing this again we have to open the command palette uh, control shift p all together and then type sync and here is the sync okay and once you are there uh, it will refresh from here to there and just click ok and what you will do it will actually refresh and see now it is downloading and finally it is downloaded that readme file right this readme file is now here and here there is a i 
information this is the icon actually you can ignore and if you open the readme file if you click there it will open and you will see all the things which we wrote over there right so in this way you can download or you can actually sync uh, this code to here so this thing we can also do with pull but uh, i do i prefer i actually always most of the time i use sync so uh, i don't need to care what is push and pull push means actually whenever you are pushing this code from this local to remote that is push and whenever you are downloading downloading from this thing this code to here that is called pull <coughs> excuse me but uh, using sync command you can do all things together that's why i use sync okay so now uh, this part is clear right i think so so this is local repository and this github is our remote repository okay and here uh, so far you saw uh, we discussed basically how to actually create a github a git posit and after that how to save those com uh, code like using commit and finally how to push this code from uh, local to remote and how to download remote to local this part is clear right now uh, i will start discussing uh, the master uh, like branching okay so here uh, you will see a couple of icons here so if you click here master it will open uh, different type of thing okay so basically when you click here it will open all the branches so create a new branch create new branch something like that okay so right now there are two branches one is master master means here this is our local branch okay so this master is our local branch this is branch and there is another master like first posit demo master okay it, this is remote that means this github master okay so here also if you see here branch is master there is only one branch master okay this default branch and for this uh, master uh, this is the thing so as a developer generally every day we do lots of tasks okay so we need to code we need to modify we need to edit we need to delete many things okay so basically there are two types of thing uh, one is in the production which is actually in life and one is on is another one uh, on which code we are working we are modifying we are testing and after that we are merging this code okay at the time that's why branch concept is came so here there is only one branch this is suppose you can think this is production this is live okay so to add some new feature or to modify something or to delete something we need to modify this code right so it's very risky on the production code because that is completely working and tested okay so for that case what we will do we will mirror this code we will create a branch and we will work from there okay so we can uh, click here and then we can uh, click this create a new branch okay so i'm just creating and create a new branch and it's asking a branch name suppose i put the branch name branch one for example i just named it branch one okay we can put branch one uh, but in real life we generally don't put in this way we put some uh, abbreviation like branch two dot three it depends on the on your organization how your uh, your organization is following but if you do work by yourself you can uh, keep like this way or you can uh, put the branch name based on the feature suppose um, you are working some modules navigation like in a website there are uh, mailbox or contact page about page you can create many branches based on your work okay but for simplicity i'm typing uh, branch one okay and so once you type branch one just hit enter key and a new branch will be appeared and here you will see here there is no branch uh, no master branch here is now branch one that means whatever uh, we'll do we'll work in this code not the master branch there are two types of code right now right on this master and a branch branch one we created so now suppose in branch on what we want to do let me create one file uh, here is the file new file i am typing file 2.txt for example i created this file okay so i am typing this is another file okay i created this and then finally file save and once i save it we'll see in the version control there is one warning like bull warning that means uh we change this thing okay but we didn't modify so we can add in the stress again so i'm going to click uh, stress and then finally from here we can commit so we can say uh, type something like added file to in branch for example i just oh, we can also ignore uh, added file to we made it very simple okay and then hit 
enter uh, control enter or press this commit uh, commit button and it will commit and this warning will disappear that means there is nothing so in my uh, branch one so what are the files are there there are two files uh, three files basically file one file two and readme file okay and this is branch one but if you want to switch the master branch so we modify this code uh, code under branch okay branch one now if we go to if we jump to the master branch let's see so we can click here and then here we will see all the branches like branch one master and this is the uh, remote branch so this is my master branch so i'm just choosing this master branch once you choose master branch you will see that uh, there is ch some changes changes means this is our previous code there is no file to and also no code is there right here we are seeing but that is only in branch one we have those things okay so master branch is completely empty but if we again jump to branch one then we will see the file is there okay that means uh, two separate modules on is branch and master and master is the main thing now uh, once you complete your co coding or modification everything on branch one now it's time to merge this code i mean to save this code with the main branch right the main branch is master branch that is the main so what we have to do we have to at first we have to jump to the master branch and from this branch we need to commit uh, that thing right so that's why uh, we have to jump the first branch first this is master and then we have to type the command to to merge uh, the branch too so type control shift p all together and then type the command merge So if we type mod, then you will find lots of options. So we want to uh, merge uh, this branch to uh, like master branch with uh, that branch. Okay, so git merge branch, then we have to type branch, we have to we choose it and then it's asking which branch you want to merge. So we want to merge with branch on. So I'm just choosing branch on and then what you will see, it will branch, uh, it will merge with master, right? So now if you go there, if you go version control, uh, here uh, not version one if you go to the files then you will see now this is master branch and the, all the files are there there is file 2 and there is online and then also the other previous code is also there okay and if you again jump to branch one this is branch one you'll see both the uh, things are same right now we need to uh, commit this th uh, we, uh, this part is done this is committed right so here let's go to there uh, and then switch master okay but if you go to the remote repository this is our github page if you refresh then you will see there is no chance basically we didn't commit or we didn't uh, sync with must uh, with uh, the remote okay so what i'm going to do so here is the demo folder let me refresh it's not there now come to this space this visual studio code now uh, we need to push this code there right so again we have to press ctrl shift p and then type sync and if you click sync then some interesting thing i will show you so here i'm pushing sync and then i'm clicking ok so it will sync uh, this code and is there is a blue uh, clock so it takes some time once it is disappeared that means this code is synced uh, to there now go to your visual studio code and now refresh the page not visible so github page and you see that the file 2 is there and here we wrote some text is there right so it's working fine right so right now this code and this code is fine this code is working but now check one thing here how many branches are there there is only master branch but there is no other branch but if i are in a visual studio code if we click remote uh, sorry this uh, source control master we are seeing there are a couple of br branches there is branch one and master but master we have there but no branch on that means visual studio code some of uh, i don't know this is a bug or they intentionally do this uh, i have no idea but uh, they only sync with the master branch it doesn't sync the other branch or other things so to sync that branch also we also uh, type the same thing i mean in the co uh, control shift p in count uh, co uh, like command plate we have to also do the sync then it will update the thing okay but 
uh, we we have to do uh, manually right now but i don't know whether there is any other way uh, we can do this or not if you know you can put in the comment section so that i can also learn from you uh, i don't know this thing and also other people also can learn the thing okay anyway so this branch one is missing here so what we have to do we have to uh, push this branch also here so what i am going to do i am going to click this master branch again and then i am choosing this branch on on this or uh, branch one then what we have to do control shift t and then type the sync s y n c and then uh, choose this git sync and again it is prompting that this will actually push pull everything and then uh, we'll click ok ok and it will take some time uh, like few seconds based on the file size and everything now uh, the clock is disappeared that means it's finally uh, push the code or sync with the github uh, remote ok so now come to github and then refresh and go to the main posit i'm going to, this is the main posit we have the files and if we click the drop down here we are seeing there is master and there is also branch right now the master is by default always master is by default and if we click branch on and it will switch the branch one okay so here we are seeing both the branches master and this thing okay so in this way basically you can also uh if, if you wish you can also do one thing uh, master branch you can also add some file here manually create a new file and then add something something you can do and you can also sing on this way so basically so far what we saw uh, how can we create branch and what is the main reason we use branch and what is the main branch the main branch is the master branch we can click here and then we can switch the branch okay this is the master branch and for different types of modification or code editing we create the secondary branch which is like similar to branch uh, master and then we do everything we do testing and once this code is approved or, sub or successfully then we merge it to the masters in this way we work so uh, i think by following this video you are pretty clear how can we actually create uh, local repository then we can create remote repository and then how can we sync between local remote and and we can also use git commands and also how can we get branch and why we need to use branch this part is clear now uh, sometimes you know, what happened uh, you might uh, need to uh, delete uh, this git posit okay so at that time what how can we delete this git posit so it's pretty simple so uh, basically uh, this is the end of the tutorial uh, i will create another uh, small tutorial uh, where i will discuss how to uh, remove this git posit suppose here uh, we have git posit uh, but how can uh, this we can remove the git completely from this posit i will discuss that tutorial uh, i will also put that link on the description and also some more video uh, i will try to create uh, which will be easy easily actually helpful for you uh, to use visual studio code uh, to save or commit your code to remote and local both together so that you can maintain the version so i think hopefully by following this tutorial uh, you are able to do how to work git github and your visual studio code all together uh, to maintain the version of your code and hopefully this will definitely i wish uh, will help you at least something you will learn something you will learn something okay and that's all for this tutorial and the last thing is that thank you for watching the video and uh, i would request you if you want more videos uh, like this type of please uh, like comment and subscribe to our channel which will actually support our channel thank you for watching yeah.